Sarah and Andy Justice, like many expectant parents, tried for years without success. They eventually decided to try their Plan C and adopt. It was a long procedure, but when they were ultimately chosen as parents, their lives changed forever. Find out their amazing story. Sarah and Andy Justice of Tulsa, Oklahoma had a perfect marriage. After three years of marriage, they believed it was time to expand their family. The Justices, like many newlywed couples, wanted a child. They were ready to bring a new life into the world. Sadly, though, fate had other ideas. After three years of marriage, the Justices recognized something was lacking. Their next step was to have a kid, but Sarah wasn't ready. The infertile Sarah Justice wasn't alone. They tried for three years without success and the years of failure would drag Sarah and Andy down. Sarah's inability to conceive caused stress in their marriage. Sarah and Andy sought the help of a fertility doctor to conceive. It wasn't their fault they couldn't get pregnant, but seeking treatment was the greatest option for their marriage's sanity. They had to look elsewhere because there were no trustworthy reproductive physicians in Tulsa. Their nearest fertility clinic was in St. Louis. So far away, it was worth traveling to have one of God's finest blessings. In 2014, they went from Tulsa to St. Louis. Sarah's reproductive therapies required a six-hour drive. A physician recommended they receive reproductive treatment in St. Louis. They got worse news. A bad start cost the justices they couldn't give up. They looked closer. Sarah and Andy approached their fertility specialist about IVF as a possible conception method. They were advised that even though they were both good candidates for IVF, there was only a 10% chance of success. Sarah would have to endure a rigorous operation on top of the 10% possibility of getting pregnant. IVF is a very intrusive procedure. Sarah would have needed months of hormone treatments before eggs could be harvested. The possibility that the embryo wouldn't implant hung over their heads. The high expense of IVF was another drawback. This creative ideation process is not inexpensive. An IDF cycle might cost between $12,000 and $15,000. For some, it's a significant risk, especially if it's unlikely to work. Also, IVF is frequently not covered by health insurance. For the justices, IVF would cost tens of thousands of dollars. The enormous cost and slim prospects made the justices think twice. But there was another way. Sarah and Andy then discussed adoption. The justices were desperate to become parents after years of infertility and being advised that medical procedures had a poor success rate. So Sarah and Andy went ahead with the adoption. It's no surprise to those who have been through the adoption process. Before bringing a child home, prospective parents must go through a rigorous application process that includes personal and living environment checks. Adoption might take years, especially if you want to adopt a newborn. They were determined to become parents, though, and would do anything to achieve that goal. Andy and Sarah faced more obstacles after starting the adoption process. All they wanted was to grow their loving family, but it felt like they had to go through a lot to do it. After their adoption application was approved, the justice's home had to be inspected. The adoption agency must verify your home is child-friendly. The interview is likely the most important step. This may induce severe anxiety for some, but the justices needed to keep their cool. To remain calm throughout the ordeal, the adoption agency set up interviews with the justices with birth mothers who wanted to give up their child. The justices went through a rigorous interview procedure, but they got some fantastic news. An acquaintance had picked the justices to raise her child. Sarah and Andy were overjoyed. This was a step closer to starting a family. The justices were there for the birth mother throughout her pregnancy, but just as it arrived, things went awry. Sarah and Andy Justice decided to keep trying. After their birth mother canceled last minute, they contacted the adoption agency again, expressing their desire to become parents. Sarah and Andy were picked after a second round of interviews, and regrettably, it happened again. The second possible birth mother kept her kid at the last minute just when things looked to be moving forward, and Sarah and Andy were back four steps. Though Sarah and Andy stayed with her birth mother throughout the process, something happened that shocked the couple. The birth mother changed her mind at the last minute and opted to keep her baby. The justices had to accept the decision, but that didn't stop them from being devastated, especially after waiting so long and going through so much. Giving up was not an option for the justices. They chose to go. Sarah and Andy Justice were dissatisfied at this stage. Some might even say they were disheartened. Desperate to become parents, the justices prayed for good news. Their prayers will eventually be answered because wonderful news was on the way. Everything they'd gone through over the years would have been in vain if they'd ended their quest right then. They had just gotten a call from their second birth mother that would change their lives forever. The justices were devastated when the second birth mom dropped out. Sarah Justice got a phone call from an adoption agency that gave her hope. 
the adoption agency informed them that a third birth mother had chosen the justices to adopt her kid. It was fantastic news, but not the end for the justices. Things were about to get interesting because this third mom had a surprise up her sleeve. Sarah and Andy Justice were ecstatic to be chosen by a third birth mother. They were so happy for her that they were with her every step of the way. The birth mother invited them to an ultrasound. Sarah and Andy would get to meet their new baby. At the ultrasound visit, however, something odd appeared on the ultrasound monitor scan. The birth mother thought everything was normal, but she was actually carrying three infants instead of one. The ultrasound monitor showed three heartbeats. Sarah, Andy, and their birth mother were shocked. They had waited so long for one child and now the world had blessed them with three. The justices felt this was coming all along. They weren't expecting to adopt three children, but they knew these triplets were intended for them. The justices accelerated the adoption procedure and began preparing for their new arrivals. The justices weren't ready for so many infants. They'd spent so long attempting to get one that they were pretty much prepared, but Sarah and Andy were ready for the challenge. After all, they planned to have more than one child in general, they just weren't expecting to raise them at the same time. Instead of going through the adoption procedure many times, they could have the family they want the one time. The justices had started to work right away on their three new bundles of joy. That meant buying three of everything, including cribs and strollers. Preparing for the triplets was costly, though not as costly as IVF. Sarah and Andy were willing to spend whatever to prepare for the triplets. After all, they'd waited a long time to become parents and raise a family. They were ecstatic. Her water broke in May 2013 and she went into labor eight weeks early. Sarah and Andy headed to the hospital to greet their newborns. Their birth mother delivered three little babies after an arduous labor. Each newborn just weighed three pounds. Hannah, Joel, and Elizabeth. Even though the justices were thrilled to welcome their newborn triplets, they still had one more hurdle to clear. It wasn't the birth mother's fault this time. Hannah, Joel, and Elizabeth were preterm. Because they were eight weeks early, Sarah and Andy, the new parents, had to remain calm after all their prayers had finally been answered. The premature triplets had to spend some time in the neonatal critical care unit before they could go home with the justices. The triplets grew rapidly in the hospital and day by day, the justices waited patiently from afar before starting a family. Sarah got unwell a week after the triplets were born. The protracted adoption procedure and preparing for triplets took its toll on the justices, so Sarah going to the doctor wasn't out of character. After all, she wanted to be well enough to care for the three newborns. By the time the babies arrived, Sarah had a thorough medical exam to determine her health. And Sarah couldn't believe the doctor's results. The doctor ran numerous tests to determine Sarah's illness. He eventually figured it out. He told Sarah she wasn't sick, but rather had pregnancy symptoms. Sarah was pregnant. The justices were stunned, especially considering that they just adopted triplets. Sure, it was amazing news. Sarah was ready for the challenge of raising three newborn triplets during pregnancy. They had no idea that their good fortune would continue. Sarah Justice thought she was barren. After years of trying and failed reproductive procedures, when she and Andy decided to adopt, they forgot about trying to conceive naturally. But Sarah's pregnancy news was a pleasant surprise. Sarah was pregnant with twins. When the justices found out the news that they were having additional multiples was astounding, especially since they were set to have five kids at once. Sarah and Andy Justice saw the humor in the situation and opted to roll with the punches. After all, it was a huge blessing. After years of trying, when they finally brought their triplets home, they did the only thing they could. Sarah and Andy had the unusual experience of raising three newborns and a first pregnancy at the same time. It was as though the cosmos was punishing them for delaying the Justice's dream. Sarah went into labor a few months before the triplets turned one. Sarah and Andy welcomed Andrew and Abigail after a lengthy labor, and now they had five beautiful infants to raise. The Justice's life was finally improving, and they were looking forward to expanding their family with their triplets and twins. They had months of practice adjusting to two newborns. Of course, it was a difficult but very, very welcome transition for Sarah and Andy Justice. If you like this story and think it might have a positive meaning, you can share it with your family and friends. We would also love to hear your comments about this story. Thanks for watching and have a great time.